Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Ross with the guy with the eye here today to review the Black View Hero One. Now, what does this look like? Once again, this is not a GoPro. This is a kind of another clone of a GoPro, but it's another action camera that Banggood's sent out to me that I'm going to review today. The Black View Hero One. What do I think? How does it compare to anything else? may not have seen recently I just reviewed the SJ cam 4000 which I'll link to down below because that's a fantastically comparable camera camera to almost any GoPro the quality is really strong on that but how about this little guy the Blackview Hero 1 you know this has actually some decent reviews and I was very curious about it as well uh, they sent this to me and I you know I never even originally heard about this so I did a lot of research I looked it up as I said there are some good things there's some bad things that I've heard but what did I find out in my test this weekend uh, which I just you know took down to a local river had some fun with and uh, did did some video there's a couple of unique features that really got me excited when I checked this bad boy out one of the cool things like the SJ cam 4000 is that it has a what is it a two inch it has a two inch LCD uh, high definition LCD screen built in on the back you're not spending an extra $70 or something to get something so that way you can view an image use your menus and everything like that compared to some of the GoPros and it's I, I, I love the screen back here I, I do it's sharp uh, and it's very easy to use and you can easily see what you're getting uh, from using the screen. So that's great. It takes 60 megapixel still images. It uses the Sony IMX206 sensor, which is a pretty good sensor. And once again, the perks about this is that it does 2K video at 30 frames per second. You get your 1080 at 60 and 30, all that kind of stuff and goes from there. This little lens gives a 170 degree view. So you do get that bowing, but that is because it is, it is a wide angle. It says this can record up to two hours of uh, record time and this actually is a very the battery in this is actually pretty awesome It works pretty well uh, compared to some other ones in a similar nature and it just works It's very simplistic, you know a couple buttons um, the, the, the weird thing about this though is that a lot of the cameras have the menu button here But essentially all this is is just a power button you record through everything at the top right here using the okay And just on the side the up arrow is how you access your menu and the down arrow is how you go through everything and okay To kind of click everything in the uh, the menu button is a little hard to hit though It's a little too impressed. So that's that's interesting But in the case the skeleton case that you get it's actually pretty simple So when you open this one up as well just like the SJ cam for thousand you get a ton of accessories all different kinds of mounts it's awesome you know for the price what is the price of this it's uh, you can get this between about 120 and 140 dollars so uh, I'll send you all the links down below from Banggood so that way you can check them out if this is something that interests you or that you want to check out and try out yourself and once again this does have an app and you do need if you're in the US you do need a, uh, a charger because uh, Essentially what they send you is the uh, EU, the Europe one, and you need to obviously convert it to what we normally use our two-prong ones down in the uh, US. So you need that, so make sure that if you buy this that you get the right charging unit as well because charging is a lot easier outside using the uh, using your power than on the computer but it's you know it's pretty good either way what, whatever you decide and also really to round out the specs is that it also does have an app so that way you can connect through its Wi-Fi and that is a uh, link eyes that you can put on your iOS and Android phones and you can control you do everything yada yada you can, can you can control everything through your phone as well and I did find that that app was actually pretty easy to use compared to some others that I've touched base upon. So this review might not be that much more past the specs because I did take this out, you know, I did some extreme, I did I did some kind of fun things with it, some time lapses. I shot it at its 2K at 30 frames, I did the slow-mo, I shot it at 60 frames at 1080p and 30 frames. And I just, I, the, the angle of view, I know it was wide, it just looked a little too fisheye to me, even though it wasn't necessarily fisheye. It just seemed it bowed a little too much even compared to anything else. So I'm not necessarily, I was not a fan of that 100%. The quality also wasn't that great. It, its dynamic range didn't hold that well, unfortunately. So, you know, I, I wasn't really a fan of that. Uh, everything looked uh, fine. The motion looked fine. The slow-mo looked okay. Just really wasn't a fan of, like, the colors and the rendition, the... Um, Really just, I just really wasn't a fan of what it produced, 
the quality wasn't quite there for me. While it might be for someone else, I'm a little too picky because I like video, uh, you know, and everything that goes with it. But I just feel that the, the Blackview here one just really wasn't up to par. And I, and I had high hopes for this thing because I really, really love the Wi-Fi, the, the capability, the app that I can control from the phone. And the, uh, the two inch screen on the back because the two inch screen is phenomenal. Now, if they had that screen on the SJ Cam 4000, uh, that would totally blow my freaking mind. See that I like that, it's not necessary, you know, that isn't a selling feature, unfortunately. Well, you can see everything. If you want something to beat up for under $150, this is a camera that you can beat up, you know, do something extreme with, and you can get away with it. But you know, for better quality or something like that, I might look for something else. But for a beat up, mess around, third, amber, third angra, angle weird camera angle or something like that, it can work for you. If anything, check it out. Once again, I'll leave the link down below. Thank you for Banggood's for setting that out. But I really recommend looking into the SJ Cam 4000. Uh, check out my review and all the links below down in the description for that because that's a phenomenal camera. But I'm just telling it like it is. You know, you don't have to like everything. There are some features that I did like, but the quality wasn't quite par up for my taste while it might be for yours.